Welcome back to CBS 5 News at 6 o'clock. And you know what, Molly, when it's chilly in the studio, always, you know it's chilly outside. Yes. And <laughs> unfortunately, the temperatures outside will be dropping over the next few days, Ugh. which means we will be freezing. Oh, goodness. <laughs> pack the blankets, pack the yeah. hoodies. Yeah. The uh, whole thing. And all of you are going to have to start thinking about layering because it's just that time of year where we are cold and we are unsettled. So while you were, you might have been sitting comfy here in central New York watching our snow coverage up north for the past few days and saying, ooh. Uh, that's not me. There's a better chance for it to be us over the course of the next few days. Here's what you can expect. Winter is on the way, but it's a quiet start to the weekend. Right now and through most of the day on Saturday is the most uneventful our weather will be. Snow will remain to the east during the day tomorrow and along the coast. So if you are traveling, let's say through New York City, Boston, New England, you may actually have some issues. Uh, then snow and blustery winds come in for the day on Sunday. It's cold and it's unsettled. Passing snowy systems are going to be a lot easier to find. In fact, we have a near daily threat for flakes for the work week. I'm really zoning in on Monday night into Tuesday. That's our next best chance of area wide snowfall, not just tricky lake effect here and there, but everyone getting a little bit of something. Arctic air is on the way. Temperatures drop after that area wide snowfall. We're talking highs maybe in the 20s. There's one day in the seven day forecast. A lot of us won't make it out of the teens. Triple Doppler radar brought to you by fossil service expert shows. We're in the 20s right now. There's still a slight breeze, so it actually feels a bit more like the low 20s and teens in some spots. So you do need to bundle up for any Friday evening plans. But again, I don't think snow is going to be a factor for a lot of you. The only exception, the far north country again, far northern Jefferson County Lake Band may briefly wobble back for a few flurries before it moves up into Canada for good by tomorrow morning. Look at what's happening from the southeast into central New York for early Saturday morning. Cloud cover is taking over. We actually may start off on the gray side in a lot of spots in central New York, especially the further south and east you head. That cloud cover is going to be very stubborn. However, as we head through the afternoon, there's that coastal system. It grazes by us, misses us by this much. That means most of us stay dry during the day, and actually we have a few breaks of sunshine later on. However, we're still pretty chilly for this time of year with highs only in the low 30s. Watch the snow re-enter the forecast for the day on Sunday. Winds start to align out of the west and northwest, brings cooler air in, a little bit of extra energy making for scattered snow showers early on Sunday. Not everyone will see this all of the time. In fact, there's a lot of dry breaks during the day on Sunday, but then some new lake snow starts to form north of Syracuse by Sunday evening and we'll be into one of those wobbly lake setups as we head into Monday. In fact, early Monday morning, the lake snow briefly drops into central New York. It's light though before it tapers off. Watch what happens Monday into Tuesday. This is the system I said I was watching area wide snowfall moving in Monday night into Tuesday. There could be some slick spots, some snow covered roads. That's really what I'm putting my attention on, but daily snow showers are going to be a threat, so you have to keep up to date on the forecast. Check the radar before you head out. It's just that time of year, right? So that means you really should enjoy the quiet weather tomorrow with no worries of snowfall across central New York. Seasonal temperatures close to where they should be for this time of year or seasonable temperatures in the afternoon. Sunday temperatures in the low 30s, blustery winds making it feel a lot cooler. Monday's a day we may not make it out of the 20s. That lake snow starts in central New York, but tapers off for the afternoon. Area wide system for Tuesday, maybe some chances to get the shovel out early Tuesday morning. Temperatures dropping very quickly. Wednesday will likely be the coldest day of the of the season so far. A lot of us won't make it out of the teens. There will be some lake snow around and with wind chills, it'll probably feel more like the single digits. We get a little bit better as we head into the end of the week, but still a daily threat for snow in central.